On today's episode, we are going to be talking about the Altar of the Forsaken Stag. Before we jump into the episode, if you would like to support the channel and more episodes being produced, consider checking out the affiliate links to Amazon and DriveThruRPG in the show notes. You can also support me over on Patreon or on itch.io. Um, I'm starting to get some products up over there. Currently, I have a I know a guy random table sheet that you can pick up for $1. Otherwise, you can also get that on the Patreon. And if nothing else, feel free to like, share, comment, interact with the episodes. That always helps us out with the algorithm. So with that, let's jump into the episode, The Altar of the Forsaken Stag. The stone altar at this location was once a sacred place dedicated to the worship of a powerful stag. A small stream of water runs through the location. The altar itself is adorned with ancient runes that glow a deep red, giving off an eerie and unsettling energy. The atmosphere at this site is thick with the sense of corruption and anger. Near the altar, there is a desecrated rack of antlers with several of the tines cut off. Despite the damage, the antlers still seem to pulse with the power of the stag, as sparks and lightning flicker within their remaining tines. Game Master note, upon successfully reading the runes, here's the description that they will get. The mighty stag, with antlers like thunderbolts, ran across the land, and with each step, a river was born. His powerful hooves struck the earth and created the waterways that nourish the land and sustain all life. May his spirit live on forever, guiding the flow of the rivers. So... If they successfully read the runes, you might ask for a investigation check or a knowledge check of some kind. That is the description that they will get. So a little bit of lore uh, that you can stick in there. Also, for those of you who are not aware, tines or a tine is a single point on an antler. So uh, if you didn't know what that meant, that's what it means. Now let's take a look at the mechanics. When you attempt to cut off a piece of the antlers, roll 1d20. You take the resulting roll in lightning damage as you cut at the antlers. On a 16 plus, you remove two of the tines. On a 10 to 15, you remove one tine. And on a 9 minus, you are unable to cut through the thick bone, but you may try again. When grafted into a weapon, the tines electrify it, allowing strikes to deal additional lightning damage. When grafted into boots, the tines allow the wearer to move faster and jump higher. And another note here, the GM has discretion for how strong these bonuses are when they are applied to items. So this altar was inspired a little bit by Valheim, the video game, and one of the first uh, boss creatures that you encounter is a stag that has some kind of lightning aura and abilities and stuff tied to it. So I thought this was kind of a play on that. And then uh, you have this risk-reward thing with trying to desecrate these antlers even more and take pieces of them because you take damage. Uh, the better that you roll, the more times you get, but also the more damage you take. So there's a little bit of risk-reward there. Um, and as a GM, feel free to alter the amount of damage that you take because 1d20 damage in a game like D&D is going to feel different than in a system like index card RPG or dungeon world where health values are a little bit lower. So uh, modify that as needed. That is the altar of the Forsaken Stag.